Hi everybody, today we are going to see about how to use bullet and numbering in MS Word. Okay, there are two types of lists, ordered list and unordered list. Now we will see about what is ordered list and what is unordered list. Bullets. Unordered list, it is used to create a list of related items in no particular order. Bullets are majorly used to break a long sentence into points so that a sentence can be understood better by the reader. That is the usual use of bullets. Bullets can be shuffled as there is no ordering. Numbering. Numbering is an ordered list used to create a list of related items in a specific order. Numbering is used when you want the reader to follow some steps in a sequential manner. Now we will see where to use number and where to use bulleting. In Word we have these two options. Hi everybody. Today we are going to see about numbering and bulleting. How to do numbering and bulleting in Word. Let us create a new document. I will teach you with simple steps. This is the bullet option here. You can see here in the home ribbon the bullet option is here. So I am creating a bullet. So this is a bullet. So suppose I am typing tea, coffee, boost, maltova, complan. So to stop bulleting, you double enter. One, two. The bulleting stops. Now let us see how to create numbering. You can see here. The number option is available. Click this. Number is there. You know where to use numbering and where to use bulleting. Bulleting is an unordered list. Numbering is an ordered list. So uh, this let us say some steps. Click on home tab. Click on numbering icon after finishing the numbering click double enter one two numbering is finished now let us see what are the different types of bulleting options that are available this is a circle bullet. Now I am selecting this entire content. I am going to change that to a square bullet. So you, you can see this is a square bullet. If I don't want square bullet, I can change to arrow type of bulleting. I can even change to tick mark type of bulleting. I can change this to some other format of bulleting. You can see colored bulleting. Let me define a new bullet. You can select your own symbol. Add to be my bulleting symbol. I can select this. Any of the symbol you can select and click OK. So here the alignment you can give a centered right or you can give as left and then you click ok now you can see the entire bulleting has changed once again i will repeat if you want to define a new bullet click symbol suppose i want this to be my symbol okay so i am clicking ok now you can see X and a square is my new bulleting symbol. Suppose I want to create my photo as a bulleting. So you can see I have created my photo. I will zoom and I will show you. You can see 
my photo i have created as a bullet so i have inserted my photo as a bulleting how to do that we'll see define new bullet picture import the picture from desktop i am importing a picture i am selecting a picture click add i am selecting that picture and click ok now you can see that picture has been made as a bullet now let us see what are the numbering options that are available we have used ordinary numbering 1 2 and 3 i am selecting this entire content so i am going to change the different format of numbering you can see here number 1 and dot is used here here i am going to use 1 as well as closing braces the another method is i can use roman letter 1 2 3 i can use capital a b c i can use small a b c i can use small a b c with dot roman letter with dot so these are the different options that are available you can see you can also set the numbering value you can start with a number i can increase the number and i can use this now i have started with number eight suppose i want to change to a particular number you can see here set the numbering value let us start that with five so it will be five six seven so here numbering you can set the starting value at your own interest set numbering value so you can also define the format if i want a comma like this okay i can click ok now you can see the numbering has changed e and comma so it is very simple whichever number format you want you can change that now we will see the shortcut for bulleting Control plus shift plus L. If you use control plus shift plus L, automatically bulleting will start. Let us see control shift plus L. See automatic bulleting has started. So to stop double enter. So this is how you can create a bullet using the shortcut. This is the shortcut control plus shift plus L. Now I will teach you how to create bulleting using keyboard. How to create using keyboard. Asterisk followed by a space and you start typing the content. Very simple. Once again I will repeat. Start with asterisk symbol followed by a space and start typing. Automatically bulleting will appear. For numbering, plus one dot followed by a space and type the details. I am creating a new document. Now you can see here. So suppose i want a b c d as a number a dot space and start typing so your numbering method will start with a b and c d double enter suppose i want roman letter roman letter and start typing automatically that roman letter will be appearing as a numbering now let us see how to create different levels of bulleting so uh, just I am creating a bulleting the first level welcome the second level if you press a tab the sub level will be opened suppose I want another sub level you can type like this so this is another sub level so you can see for each level of bulleting you can show some differentiation that I will show you change the level list you can see here 
so suppose if you want different level the starting level first level is dot circle then a square level 4 is like this level 4 and level 5 is a different one so you can see here once again I will show you here the change level list you can give a new level list so I have changed to a different color suppose for this level let me change a different color the level list 2 I will give instead of this circle I am going to give this so you see you can change you can change the different level of bulleting with the different formats so let me give tick mark here so you can see level 1 level 2 once again you can see here level 1 is circle level 2 is tick mark level 3 is a square level 4 if you want to change you can change so I hope you all understood how to create bullet where to use bullet where to use numbering and what are the different types of numbering how to use this keyboard shortcut or how to use bulleting and numbering using keyboard thank you for more videos like this subscribe our channel edukural